What's going on YouTube? Dave back again and today we're taking a look at the TIE Fighter in brass and stainless steel from Laughing Walrus. Roll the intro. What's going on YouTube? Hope everybody is having a great day. Today we're taking a look at the brass and the stainless steel. They're calling it the TIE Fighter and this is from Laughing Walrus. First, I wanna give a big thank you to Laughing Walrus for contacting me and asking me if I would do a review for them. And I said, sure. So they sent me over a handful of different spinners. So I'm gonna give a look at them. Then they're gonna go into the box for the 10,000 giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that. We're creeping up on it slowly but surely. Without further ado, let's get the lids off. They come in your standard tin packaging with the foam, securing them. I'm just critiquing the only thing I would say is the foam is loose and these sit loose in here so they are going to bounce around a little bit just keep that in mind there is going to be a dual spin time up in the corner where i timed both of these together and in case you don't want to sit through that um, i do have to say the stainless steel got two minutes and 33 seconds and the brass here ended up getting four minutes and 23 seconds now I do have to say in general, these are fairly nice. They are a bar spinner. You do not get a whole lot of wobble in there. You get somewhat of a judder when you're going side to side, but that is completely normal with a bar spinner, and especially when you have all this weight out on the ends. They both have their own distinct sound and they both have their own kind of warp capabilities as you can kind of see there on screen. And it's even better out in the bright daylight. Now I do have to say on the stainless steel one over here, I think the reason that it got a shorter spin time is the bearing actually feels dirty. It actually feels a little bit gritty. And you'll catch right there when I was talking about that. Um, this is a little nitpick that I have with this. It's a great bar spinner in general, but if you're a side flicker like I am, I am having a tendency of like catching my finger right in there just like that. And it's kind of uncomfortable, but you know what? Let's jump down to the table, take a look at both these together, and then I'll pop back out and let you know what I think. Now, taking a look at these all up and close, as you can see, they are pretty similar. They are two and a quarter inches from widest part there to there. There is slight variation and I'm not sure why. Um, the buttons are a little bit different on each one of these. The stainless steel has the Laughing Walrus logo on both sides where the brass only has it on one side. Taking a look at the machining um, on the stainless steel, it is nicely polished all over here, fingerprint magnet, but um, on here, it is a little rough, as you can see there and there, and it follows through there. Now it's it's kind of impossible to end up polishing up in there, but this side is a lot rougher than taking a look at the brass one. The brass one you can see actually came out a lot cleaner. Now the one thing I have to say about both of these in general is there are no hot spots, um, even right here on the corner. It's not bad. Um, they're pretty rounded on all of the corners with the brass one I can completely freak out the camera on the brass one getting off button number one button number two retention ring and the bearing on the bearing they went with the same style that uh, the very dapper went with and I'm not a real fan of that one um, for some reason it just doesn't seem to run as smooth and quiet it doesn't seem to run as silent or quiet as a normal raced R188 getting this back together bearing retention ring button one button two spin now I'm actually not going to tear apart the stainless steel one because it, uh, inside it's identical to this one. The only variance is, is there's a little bit difference on the button. This one has more of a sharp edge or straight edge where this one has a nice chamfer all the way around it and a little more of a divot it feels like. I actually think this one would do as good as the brass one once that the bearing is nice and clean. Something I did forget to mention. They both came with a case, so that was excellent. So lastly, would I end up purchasing these out of my own pocket? Um, I may end up, may have ended up purchasing the brass one. Um, I don't know about the stainless steel one since I am a brass fan myself. These are not bad. Um, my only complaint is these sections right here. And personally, if I was keeping them, I would probably take them to a grinder and pop those off. Though I can kind of see that what they were going with um, kind of look like a hammer and I can kind of see where they're coming up with the TIE fighter reference on here 
I do really like the effect, even in here without the super bright lights that you end up getting off of them. Um, the feedback is comfortable. It doesn't seem to be overly annoying. You guys know me. I'm not a super bar spinner fan um, because of that, but it doesn't seem to be loose. There doesn't seem to be any really floppiness to it where there has been with some. Personally, if you're looking for a good deal, both on stainless steel and a brass, it's not going to hurt to check them out. Links to them will be down in the description as usual. Personally, I am putting these into the box for the 10K giveaway to give back to you guys. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, definitely click right over there to subscribe. Check out one of my other videos there or there. You never know what kind of random list is going to be going on. As usual, YouTube, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.